Hello guys, it's Riker, man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we're going to be talking about West Ham United versus Tottenham, uh, Tottenham at Spurs um, in the 2019-20 Champions League, uh, sorry, Premier League, man. Uh, this game ended in a 3-2 win uh, for Spurs, man. Pretty much, uh, Spurs almost, they almost battled it. They almost battled it. West Ham almost came back, bro. Poor defended by West Ham throughout the game, man, but... The main reason why everybody was watching this game because of Jose Marino, man. This was his first game in charge, just being, um, just being the head coach for for the past uh, two or three days, man. And uh, one of the big rivalries, man. One of uh, Spurs' big rivalry is West Ham, and uh, going up against West Ham is always a tough, tough game, man. Because no matter what form both of these two teams are in, man, whenever they play each other, man, it's just like a highly contested game. Like nobody likes Spurs, bro. Nobody just like them. Chelsea, Arsenal. West Ham, nobody likes these teams <laughs> like them, man. So it is what it is. But um, great win for Spurs, man. Uh, Young Min Sun, bro. Young Min Sun, man. This guy is such a talented player, and uh, definitely gonna go far, man. Definitely gonna be um, definitely gonna be a, a Tottenham um legend, bro. Most one of the most important player in my opinion. In my opinion, probably more important than Harry Kane right now, cause he does what Harry Kane used to do, man. Scoring goals, assists. Like this game, he had a goal, he assist, man. He looked very well on the wing, bro. He was giving uh Yomatenko, Yoma Yomalenko. He was giving Yomalenko and uh Frederias uh Frederias, uh problem on the on the on the left side, man. He was fantastic throughout the game, man. Dribbling skills. His first goal. That little double um two step bro, it was that step over was just crazy to score that first goal, man. And uh Jose Marino did a very good job. The lineup, man, that's where the lineup should be, man. Deli Halley is always a attacking midfielder, bro. He's an attacking midfielder. I don't care what nobody says, man. If we put him on the wing, they put him in deep midfield. He's an attacking midfielder, man. And before the game started or during the coaching, um, doing training, um, Jose Marino pulled him to the side and said, like, yo. Um, are you the real Deli Halley, uh, Deli Halley, bro? Like, um, I think you're your brother, man. I want to see the real Deli Halley. And that's what he did, bro. He, he was phenomenal, bro. Definitely was one of the top players out there on the pitch, man. Um, or Serge Herrera, bro. Serge a freaking Herrera, bro. I, in my opinion, he was the second best player on the pitch today, bro. He did have an assist. And this is probably the best game I've ever seen Serge Herrera score um, played in, bro. The, the, he had a third assist to Harry Kane. For the third goal, man, he was fantastic, man. Davidson Sanchez, bro, I don't care, like Davidson, um, Davidson Sanchez, bro. I don't care who's the manager, bro. This guy always do an awful job. The former Alec, um, Ajax player, bro. He just like he hasn't really done well, man, since his time at Tottenham, man. But uh, Dave Ben Davis had a poor game overall. Uh, Gazaniga, Gazaniga, uh, he always do good, man. But this was a poor game for him, man. Those goals that uh, that um. That West Ham score, bro. Probably should have prevent those, man. But uh, great win for Spurs overall, man. A 3-2 win. And with this win, bro, they're climbing the table again. They're just one point behind Arsenal, bro. One point be behind Arsenal. And they've been having, like, a horrible season so far, man. So um, this was a great win for Spurs, man. Um, congratulations to them, I guess, man. Jose Marino is back. Will they win a trophy? That's what everybody want to say, man. Will Jose, Jose Marino pretty much cap um, capitulate? Catapulate? I don't, I don't know how to say that word, bro. Pretty much, um, go downhill from here, man. But, um, I think Jose Marino always brings something good and new to the team that really inspired the team. But after a while, this went downhill, man. So great win overall, man. They passed the ball very well. They defended it very well in the, for the first seventy minute, man. But after um the seventy second minute, seventy third minute. He just went downhill, man. But um, it just go, it get better from here, I guess, man. And um, yeah, Jose Marino just got to find his first, his top eleven, his his uh, first team, and to go from there, really, man. They do have a very good team. They shouldn't be where they are right now. And Jose Marino might be the guy that really um, um, turned the team around, man. But defensive, bro. West Ham defense was suck, bro. They was suspect. Dia, bro. He had a last man tackle, man. But that hurricane goal, bro, should never happen. Uh, Ogbana, he, I think he was, yeah, he, he made that mistake on that goal, man, but pretty much poor defending too, man. I think uh, the referee was favoring uh, Tottenham a lot, bro, although a few of the players got yellow card. Harry Kane was just, like, um, hammering people around, like, knocking people to the ground, bad tackles on players. He only got a yellow card, probably should have get a red card for that, man, ain't gonna lie, man. But uh, great win for, for Spurs overall, man. Looking forward to see what they do in the future. Uh, Champions League is coming out. They're going to be in the Champions League, man. So that's where Jose Marino really uh, really shines, man. He shines in the Champions League, man. So it should be interesting to see 
um, what a team does and um, how they do, man. Because um, this is a very good team, man. You're definitely going to get something out of these guys. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to see how they do, man, on the, on the Jose Marino. And, uh, yeah, man, so the first goal was by Yamin Son in the 36th minute, followed by Lukomora, man. Great goal by Lukomora, a little tapping by Lukomora um, in the 43rd minute. And 2-0 uh, up in the first half. Second half, man, three minutes into the second half, it was um, Harry Kane scoring a third goal for Spurs. And after that, bro, they just turned off, bro. They just turned off, and Jose Marino pretty much started parking the damn bus. Um, Mick, uh, Michael Antonio, uh, Mikel Antonio were able to um, score the, the one of the first constellation goal for uh, West Ham in the seventy third minute, and uh, um, good goal by him. And uh, same with uh, Agbano man scoring the second goal in the ninety plus minute, bro. So great goal by him, I guess, man. But Spurs should never let those goals in. They should play very well defensively. And uh, yeah, man, Snodgrass had assist. Diop, um, Diop had a last man tackle, and uh, Noble had assist, man. But um, Antonio, um, Antonio also came off the bench when he scored that, bro. Like it was just like crazy, man. But hope you guys enjoy my. So stat wise, man, Tottenham. Tottenham were the better team stat wise, and they had what fifty three percent ball possession. They had fifty three percent ball possession. And um, West Ham had 47% ball possession. Uh, Spurs had oh, 15 shots in total. West Ham had 11 shots in total. Uh, Spurs had 6 shots on target. And uh, West Ham had 4 shots on target, man. But overall, it was a good game for Spurs, man. They kind of let them back in the game, man. But they eventually they, they, they scored enough to really um, to really um, held them back from them scoring that, that, that final equalizer, man. But like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, leave a comment, share this video. Let me know your thoughts on the game, man. And with that, it was out of here. Peace.